Hi. Today, let's see how we can uh, update records that you have in a collection. Update it or save it back to the database in Salesforce. So here, um, I have this quote records uh, for this particular opportunity. Um, I have uh, several quote records and uh, um, if we have uh, a record checked as latest quote um, and if somebody updates any other record and make that as a latest quote that is if that records checkbox is checked the previously selected checkbox it should be unmarked unchecked so that's what we are trying to do um, to do this I started with the trigger and then uh, I found myself into infinite loops because uh, every time another record is edited the trigger is uh, executed again and it's causing a recursion error so I figured uh, we would need a flow instead of a trigger so let's see how we can do that so from here um, you can go to setup type flow new flow record triggered flow reform Select the object here it is quote and then uh, condition requirements yeah we need a condition here that is uh, um, we need to start the flow launch the flow only when somebody checks the checkbox uh, of a particular code record so that is uh, So this, this is the checkbox field, latest quotes equals to true. That is if mm, only when um, that particular field is edited and made true, that is if it is checked, only then we need to the flow to be launched. So this is the default selection and then click done. I already have the flow made, so let's take that. Here is the flow. So we already have the starting condition, and for this we need a get records element, a loop element, assignment element, another assignment element, and then an update records element. So first uh, you need to drag the get records element, uh, where is it? Get records element uh, over to the canvas, and then uh, uh, now we are getting all the records of the quote object um, corresponding to that particular opportunity id so um, give it a name here for that element that is get quote records that's what i've given and then select the object here as quote and then uh, you have to give the condition uh, that is actually here uh, even though we are getting all the records from the quote object we are excluding one record that is the record that started the flow the quote record that started the flow uh, because uh, that quote records checkbox is checked and we want to keep that as checked uh, so uh, we are um, doing a filtering here to exclude that particular record uh, for that we are getting the parent opportunity ID equal to the current records opportunity uh, ID and for that and also another condition is that uh, the quote ID should not be equal to uh, that current records um, 
quote ID, which means that particular uh, current quote record where the checkbox is checked uh, will be excluded uh, from the query and we get the rest of the quote records. Um, so, uh, so that's the condition that we have given here. Um, and then uh, when you come down here, select all records and either you could just uh, uh, to simplify use automatically store all fields in this collection, but uh, we don't need all fields. We just need only one field, which is uh, uh, latest code. That's the only field we need. We need to be updating. So ID uh, quote ID that is the ID is already uh, selected and here we will be by adding a field you could uh, add whatever field you want. So I have selected the uh, latest quote and then so connected uh, the start to this. So it says run immediately after connecting. Then you need a loop that is you could uh, drag the loop element over to the canvas and then give it a name uh, just give uh, i have given the name loop itself loop and then uh, uh, collection variable this is the first collection variable uh, that we gave here uh, for this uh, get code records this is the collection variable so get code records select that collection variable here you, you can see that so click select it and then uh, from in the collection you have um, multiple code records so from the start I first item to the last item you need to start processing mm, and then um, you need an assignment element so again connect from here to here and then uh, drag uh, one assignment element uh, and in this assignment element we are going to uh, make the checkbox as false for each of those records each of those quote records so here uh, give it a name make latest false and then um, here it should be uh, here you could just select the uh, loop name once you select the loop name loop name and then you also have to select uh, which field that you want to update so in the loop uh, after the dot you have to select you have to scroll down and then uh, select uh, your field that is uh, latest quote in this case equals to i am setting it to false uh, so that is done and uh, connect the loop to here and then we need one more uh, uh, assignment element uh, but before that uh, we need to have a new collection you need to create a new collection variable uh, that is uh, um, codes to update that is actually uh, what we're doing is uh, we have this original collection we are looping over this original collection this original collection and then we are setting the um, field to whatever value we want in this case uh, setting latest code uh, checkbox to false and then uh, uh, and then we will uh, assign that record the first record after the updation to this particular uh, collection so in this collection finally we will have uh, all the updated records and uh, lately we will be uh, using that second collection to write back to the update the database in Salesforce. Um, so um, before creating this, go ahead to the manager, click new resource and then uh, select variable and then give it a name. And then uh, um, in this case, I've given uh, uh, quotes to update and then uh, select the object uh, i mean uh, data type it is a record because it's a collection and i already have it so i will remove it uh, and then click check uh, since it is a collection i love this and make it available for input and output check that select the object in this case it is a quote object so that's all done 
uh, this is what we have here finally just click done so I already have this here uh, which is this uh, codes to update so uh, codes to update I've checked that uh, data type is a record object uh, uh, the child object which is code uh, parent is opportunity um, because we are updating the child object uh, all of the child objects to the related opportunity uh, so check both of these so then we have this uh, um, collection variable ready and then again we drag an assignment uh, element here and in the assignment element uh, here uh, we give the variable uh, that uh, collection variable that we just created that is codes to update uh, we will select it from here it's already selected and then change the operator to add uh, and then here select the loop it you would see a dot here uh, dot uh, but just uh, remove the dot if you see that so it will be just that expression exclamation loop uh, so what we are doing here is um, so we have the original collection variable it is looping through all these one by one and then updating the field in one of the record and then assigning the updated record to this new collection variable we just created so it just goes over and over until all the code records are uh, fields are updated and then finally we need uh, to write it to the database for that you need the um, update records element for that you go ahead and uh, drag update records element to the canvas and then uh, give it a name i give an update code and then select use the id and all fields values from the record or collection since we have a collection we are selecting this and then uh, give the name of the collection that second collection we just created from here uh, which is codes to update so in this collection we have all the updated code records where all its uh, checkbox field is false uh, and then uh, click done and then uh, so you have to connect it from here to here loop to assignment and then assignment to assignment again and from the second assignment back to the loop and from after all this is done you just uh, come from the take the collection from the loop and after the last item uh, uh, you're updating the uh, record uh, all the code records to the uh, salesforce database and then you go ahead and activate it once you activate uh, go to your org and then let's say now checkbox is checked for test 3 and i want to check make this as the latest code that is test 1's checkbox so when i make this as checked uh, this should be unchecked that's the goal so let's try and uh, go to edit and then come here and then latest code save okay earlier this was checked now when we made uh, this as latest the previously checked checkbox is now uh, uh, unchecked so it does that unchecks for all the records and then uh, finally writes that uh, to the uh, that, that collection to the uh, Salesforce database so uh, so that's it and uh, this is how you could do a fast update this is actually called a fast update updating a collection um, to the database after updating individual fields um, so that's how it is done and so in cases when you are stuck with the recursion error I guess you can use the power of Salesforce flows that's it. Thank you.